Number 76, write the Lewis structures of the reactants and product of each of the following equations and identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay, so Lewis structures isn't something new. Uh, we did a whole chapter on how to actually draw Lewis structures. So if you need a refresher, always go back to that chapter. This is kind of like Chem 1 material. I know, I know, Chem 1. Chem is cumulative. I. So the only thing that's new here is just taking those Lewis structures and identifying the acid and the base, right? Specifically the Lewis acid and base. So let's just draw out those Lewis structures first. So we have AlCl3. I wrote down just on the bottom here as a refresher how many valence electrons each element has, because we need that. So it seems like here I have aluminum that's in the middle, surrounded by the three chlorines. So one, two, and three. Keep in mind that aluminum has three valence electrons, so three dots around aluminum. And then for chlorine, they each have seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna stop singing now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single bond them up and just see if we have the octet rule. And when we do that, each chlorine has the octet, and remember, aluminum is that special one where it can be fine with six electrons. So I have that. Now I have just a Cl minus. So just a chlorine by itself. So Cl. Generally, chlorine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons, but this negative means that I gained one electron. So I'm just gonna put one extra dot. And since this is the only element, that negative charge has to be on the chlorine. Okay, so that's fun. Now let's make that product. Well, it just seems like here that I have now aluminum with four chlorines. So here's the aluminum with the three chlorines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste that. And now I have that other chlorine. So Let's just go for it. I have the Cl. Whoop, I'll do that in black. Cl. And now I have chlorine has seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this compound also has a negative charge. That means that you gained one electron. Chances are you'll gain it on the more electronegative element. So I'm just going to put that one lone pair with the chlorine. But now wait a minute. Do you see at this point in the game, it's literally the two compounds identical to each other, right? But now somehow they have to bind. Well, this is a great example of how Lewis acids and Lewis bases come to be. The Lewis base is what kicks it off because the Lewis base always has the electron pair that it's going to donate in the form of the, the pair of electrons, the two dots. So in this case, in order for this chlorine to bind with the aluminum, it seems like one lone pair, so this lone pair, is now going to say, hey, I can just take my two lone pairs and donate it into a bond. So when that happens, this doesn't, it's not a lone pair anymore, it's just a bond. And that's the bond with the two electrons. So it just looks like these electrons went right into that aluminum and it formed that bond. Anytime the one that kickstarts the whole process here, the one that has the lone pair that donates, that's always the, the Lewis base. And generally it's going to be a negative charge. So if you do see a negative on your reactant side, that's gonna be the Lewis base. So Lewis base. And the one that accepts those electrons, well, that's the Lewis acid. Just know that your Lewis base and your Lewis acid is never gonna be on the product side, but we use the product to just see what's going on. If I did wanna find out who had the negative charge here, we could do the formal charges on each element, and it seems that aluminum will now have that negative charge. And now we're done. That's it, guys. What do you think? I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and keep studying hard. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I will talk to you in future lessons. Okay, bye-bye.